Scorpio, what's going on? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot, guys. Welcome so much uh, to the channel today, where I'm getting ready to do you guys your March 2021 Wealth and Abundance Tarot card reading. So what I'm going to do is introduce the reading, probably cut a couple cards for you guys, start the reading off, and then I'll change the aspect of the camera so that you guys can see the cards as I place them out for you. So I'm, I'm looking for feedback on that, you guys. I've had a couple of people request that. So I'm like, anyway, it's just, I don't know. I don't know if it's working for me or not. So guys, I really appreciate any sort of comment, yes or no, or whatever. All right, so let me just shuffle the Gilded Tarot and I have a card coming out here, so I'm gonna keep it. Uh, I'm gonna do you guys your wealth and abundance and that can be love or money or health, you know, whatever abundance looks like to you, whatever you'd like to have obviously an abundance of something in your life. So I will also pull a romance angel oracle card at the end of the read. And uh, yeah, let me just show you guys this card and then we'll get off onto your reading. So we do have the star card here. So I find this very interesting. Um, you guys are surrounded by water in this image. And you guys are a water sign. So this is really important. If you guys are having any kind of stress or Whatever your situation is, whatever your mood is, it's only going to get improved by water. Um, you know, if you have, you can take a hot bath or a shower or put your feet in water. Make sure you're drinking lots of water to you guys. This will help keep you calm and hydrated. And in the spirit of the star card, you can remain very hopeful and positive. And it's hard to do that if you feel like kind of scungy or dehydrated. So let me go on a pause here, you guys, in just one sec. So it's definitely not a tarot card reading without a cup of tea smudged with my lipstick. So <laughs> anyway, guys, this is a great card for you guys to start off with. This is a really, um, you know, having faith and hope and keeping... Uh, your aspirations high that is that is very I, I see a high potential in that for you guys and this is what people a lot of people don't understand uh, I was talking about the secret in another zodiac signs reading but people just don't they think it's pretty cut and dry but you guys like it's like you understand the secret and whether you understand it or not and i'm talking about the secret it's a book and a movie you guys on manifesting um you embody the secret so if it's not coming easy for you guys i really want you to try to incorporate more water back into your life and maybe um you see how she's pouring back and forth and into also this large body of water here so i would consider the the water to be source or god or you know universe however you guys view or aspect um a higher power uh and it's kind of like i'm getting the you need to bring more people to the well somehow um, get somebody to share your vision and sort of amplify your vibration somehow. So if you guys are married or you're in a relationship uh, or you have a really good friend, you know, you could really try to double your vibration um, by including somebody in your grand vision. And for those of you that are solo, you know, if you if you have a friend, you could even talk to them about it or just start writing things down and and maybe putting it on your mirror so that when you're looking at the mirror, it feels like there's somebody with you and say those affirmations and speak your goals into the mirror. And it's going to feel a little bit freaky of, at first because it's weird. OK, but mirror work is a proven solid technology for uh, technology um, technique for people. So, you know, don't knock it till you tried it. So I really want you guys to check that out, like really to amplify your manifestation vibration by either including somebody or um, using the mirror as an amplification technique. And you can see here with the eight of wands, the eight of fire, things are gonna change for you really, really, really quickly when you start to involve 
another person or your reflection in what it is that you'd like to bring out for yourself. You could also have the assistance of a fire sign here, you guys. This is Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So it could be just the fact that listening to um, this mirror technique, it could really help you as you try to manifest your goals. And, you know, you have to actually do something uh, in order to manifest, you know. Vision is really powerful. Your affirmations are very powerful, but you have to actually also do something about it, you know. So plan out a strategy as well for yourself. Uh, you know, don't just sit there, Scorpio, you know. So this is a very powerful card here for you guys too. This is the Hierophant. So I really feel like this is tying into the star card and how you see things. Like, do you understand that there is uh, an absolute creator, um, you know, and you are the co-creator. This is why you're able to pour back into it and take what you want, you know, but it has to be a, like, I'm getting this really weird word. I, I don't even think I can pronounce it. It's cir circuitous is, you know, it means that everything goes in a circle. So there could be a higher level for you guys to understand that life is a circle. Um, you know, there's, I have the flower of life behind me on my Mandela. So it's like you guys could really do a little bit more spiritual investigation into manifestation. Um, you know, how everything really is a circle and what you put into life is what you're going to get out of it. And what you see um, for yourself is what you get, you know. I know a lot of people say that as if it's sort of to somebody else. Hey, what you see is what you get. But you might want to change that that mantra for yourself and really start visualizing what it is. And somebody else could really help you with that. And finding a little bit more of a spiritual tone to your manifestation, um, you know, and visualize things. And what you see is what you will get. Um, so really try that out, you guys. It could really be a game changer for you, especially with this Eight of Wands here. You know what I'm saying? Um, really rapid movement here. Really, like, things just coming in like a... A homing beacon you know just shh, coming in on you so this is really powerful for you guys and this is all things that you can do for yourself you don't have to wait for anybody else so this is really cool like it's not gonna hinge on somebody else waving their magic wand this is you waving your magic wand and being able to really bring something in um, probably really, really quickly because of what I'm seeing here with the star and the hierophant, you know, everything being connected and you guys just might finally put things together. Like there's could be a missing piece of the puzzle of your understanding of the manifestation process that could come in for you in March that is just going to make things like catapult into your life. Um, so, and we've got the judgment card here, guys. So, I find this really interesting, too, is that, you know, everything was decided. Everything was decided. There was a judgment in your name before you came down here. You know, a lot of people call it God's plan. Um, some people call it a soul contract. So there was a judgment in your favor before you even um, were born. So... Try and tap into that and you could use a little bit of meditation to understand that a little bit more uh, because it's going to be really important for you guys, you know, to understand that everything is faded. And I, I talk about Vikings sometimes because it's like my favorite show ever and they really, they talk about, you know, the gods have a plan for you. So there's, there's this essence of fearlessness in living life because you know everything is faded already so to a certain degree um you know you can look at that and you might want to communicate with your higher self with this hierophant card here to understand what that plan was and are you able to shift timelines okay so hold on you guys 
So maybe that got a little bit deep or whatever, but that's exactly what manifestation is. If you want to, you know, look at some of the top, and I guess people interview celebrities because they're famous, right? They talk about the meditation process. They talk about the visualization process. So there is another step for you guys to take as, as far as, you know, getting in line with your soul purpose, your soul contract, and tapping into your ultimate powers of manifestation with that judgment card that we saw. So you should really have that spark in March to be able to do that. Um, this is interesting. So this card says make the effort, and it's pretty cute. So great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So, and this goes with anything big that you would like to accomplish. So if you guys are in a relationship or you're single, whatever your relationship status is, like you can't let, just let um, things fall apart. You have to make an effort. And a lot of people just don't understand the way that things work. But I see you guys coming into a higher understanding of how the universe works so that you can tap into it for your ultimate wealth and abundance. So March looks like a really exciting one for you, Scorpio. So I'm gonna, you know, wish you guys love and light, all the best. And we'll see you back here another time. Take care. Bye.